Bunny. Yes. But Bunny, my friend, let's talk about Netflix. Okay. The the streaming service Netflix is currently busy spending billions and billions of dollars in a fairly sad attempt to have so much original content that no one notices that they're slowly but surely losing less outside movies and TV shows. Yeah. This actually pisses me off. These bitches think that they can compensate for less Disney movies and no more Bob's Burgers by giving us more episodes of The Ranch and Adam Sandler movies. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, I've, I've I've been pissed off at that for a really long time now. I mean, they were they were the replacement for Blockbuster, and yep. now they've put off they've put Blockbuster out of business, and now they're not giving us movies. What the fuck? Yeah, you know, it's I mean, ridiculous. you were the alternative, and now you're what CBS yeah. now? Yeah, so I'm a little bit upset at Netflix, and yet. Uh, nevertheless, I, I fully support Netflix right now, whether I want to or not. I have to, and we all have to, because Netflix is under attack by who, you might ask? By this podcast's arch nemesis, and no, I am not referring to director Michael Bay, but now that you mention it, fuck Michael Bay, he's ruining <laughs> movies. No. Netflix is under attack by evangelical Christians. Okay. So Christians are boycotting Netflix for two Yay! ridiculous Yeah, for two ridiculously stupid reasons. The first reason is is due to the Netflix original teen television show entitled 13 Reasons Why Teen Suicide is like totally awesome. Right. I'm sorry, I have so much hate for that. Apparently a depressed 14-year-old girl named Anna Bright watch the, sh- the show 14, 13 Reasons Why, and then shortly afterwards she killed herself. Now suicide and depression are complicated things. It's next to impossible to pinpoint exactly why someone would commit suicide. There's usually a multitude of reasons. It's not a straight line. You can't just connect yeah. dot A and dot B and then you go, this is exactly the reason why someone killed himself. It's 13 <laughs> Reasons Why, not one reason why. Yeah, That would be a short tv show and a short book (laughs) you know these things are complicated you know there's usually a multitude of reasons why and not one specific reason why so anna bright committed suicide very sad then her fundamentalist evangelical christian parents uh, are sad and they're looking for answers and what do they see they see that Anna Bright recently watched the Netflix original show 13 Reasons Why and the parents are literally saying there it is this is the one reason why our daughter killed herself the only reason why our daughter killed herself is because she watched this this liberal TV show well, because you know, you know, they have to say, oh, no, we've had a great relationship with our daughter. We uh, talked all the time. Everything was great. If she had any any problems, she would have told us because we're we're all open like that. You know, she wouldn't she wouldn't hold any secrets of like. So it must be that TV show. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So. Now the parents are literally saying. Let's just wildly correlate these two things with no proof and say that, yeah, Netflix killed our daughter. Yeah. And and fundamentalist Christians love to blame people for shit with no proof. So now Christians are signing petitions and urging all good Christians to cancel their Netflix subscription. Uh, and all, first off, I'm really excited that that Christians are boycotting Netflix. Man, I guess Netflix is going out of business because, you know, two years ago, the same people started a boycott of Target, and look how successful that was. Yes. There's no Targets around anymore. They, They're all closed down, and no one shops there. They ruined the Star Wars franchise. Yeah. Ruined and, it. And also... Because Rogue, Rogue One was too political for them. Yeah. <laughs> And also, if you solely blame a crappy television show for your child's suicide, you did not know your child. No. At all. 
No, not at all. So, so Christians are 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 tr- so they're trying to boycott Netflix and all that, and they're not being that successful, right? And the Christians who are who are trying to to get people to sign signatures and and get people to start boycotting Netflix, the Christians are like, man. It, we're trying so hard, but we're just not being that successful, man. If only there was a way that we could, that we could have our, our, our Netflix boycott be really successful, man. Well, you know, like when a celebrity gets some rare disease and they become a spokesperson. Yeah. Well, a few days ago, the hashtag boycott Netflix crowd got a big indoor C. Uh oh. Uh oh. Was it Fabio? No, because Netflix recently announced a multi year big money deal with the Obama family. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Now, this is the Christian smoking gun. We need to boycott Netflix because they have a TV show that killed a girl. Man, how can we convince these white Christians to stop watching Netflix? And then Obama comes along. Uh, I have signed a deal with Netflix. And oh my God, white Bible thumpers haven't been this upset since their favorite elliptical machine at the gym was already taken by a black fellow. <laughs> So yeah, now now it's picking up steam, and and angry white people are uh, bye bye Netflix. I guess I'll just go to Hulu. Yeah, yeah. Why don't they shoot them like that? That the 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 coolers that they were shooting a few months ago. Yeah, the Yeti coolers. The Yeti, so, right? Yeah. What the yeah, fuck? But yeah, fucking ridiculous. So now. You know, I was upset with Netflix, but unfortunately, I have to uh, support Netflix now. Oh uh, no, I don't. Unfortunately, yeah. Whether I want to or not, because I got to defend them against these freaking Bible thumpers. So, super <laughs> excited for that! Yay! This is like this Yay. is like a this is like a when when uh, when you had to defend Bill Clinton's name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bill Clinton had sex in the Oval Office. He's a horrible person. And then you're like, kind of, yes, <laughs> no, eh. you know. So yay, excited about that. So yeah, boycott Netflix if you, um, it, if you're white. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have an ending for this. But it, it, 13 Reasons Why I Didn't Kill a Little Girl. And no. Netflix is signing everyone. So the fact that they signed the Obamas isn't the goddamn end of the world, you know? Mm-hmm. They also carry God's Not Dead. So it's not like this is the evil liberal corporation that Christians make Netflix out to be now. They also have Christian Mingle. And a lot of other yeah. Christian fare. Yeah. But they're like, oh no, Netflix has become too liberal and too political. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Not 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 every entity has a political affiliation. There's a sh- there's a there's an animal hospital here in my tiny small town, the Shawnee Animal Hospital, and it has one of those like digital uh digital signs that's yeah. supposed to say like when they open and and things like that but instead the shawnee animal hospital's digital sign is oh just God. it's it's just all pro-republican anti-liberal nonsense it's oh, God. I love it. It makes no and sense. it's like it's the shot Sha- welcome no to the shawnee animal hospital well the dumb liberals are at it again <laughs> And it's like, motherfucker, I don't need to know what a building would vote for. <laughs> oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go get a tan, but wait, wait, we need to know the political affiliation of this tanning salon. <laughs> Can't go, they support Donald Trump. 
it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So we never go to the Shawnee Animal Hospital, and a lot of people are pissed about it in town, so that's fun. So 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 that's all I got on Netflix. Like, uh, the, like Netflix. is the animal hospital getting protested and stuff? That would be cool. Uh, people are – people are – it's not getting protested, but people are upset with the Shawnee Animal Hospital. I've seen an article or two about – the Shawnee Animal Hospital, but the owner of the Shawnee Animal Hospital is like, well, I'm a proud Republican, and I'm not changing a thing. Okay. Only get Republican business then. Yeah. Yeah, have fun with that. Oh, yeah. I, I love that picture. And finally, Bunny, before we finish, um, I'd hate to focus on this. I'd hate... I, I, I'm sorry that I keep bringing this up. Because I, I'm really Bella. That was the loudest chair in the world. Thank you for that. I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to not focus on the negative. I'm trying, but but I I'm sorry. I'm still really, you know, upset with episode 173, the experimental experimental low budget artistic psychedelic sci-fi romance art house supernatural drama fuck fest. No. Yes. No, that's 2017's A Ghost Story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck that movie. Fuck it. Fuck that movie so hard. That that was so bad. That movie sucked so hard. It was so bad that I just can't get over it. Jesus fucking Christ. Who hurt you, Casey Affleck? <laughs> just pretentious oh, as shit, man. That's what I hated. Yeah. I, and, and I can't get this film... I can't get this shitty movie out of my head. Seriously, it's just haunting me. So, here's my idea. Right here on the podcast, I got a piece of paper. I've got a, uh, I, I got a pen here. So this is what I'm going to do. Right here, live on the podcast, I am going to write a letter to the filmmakers. <laughs> demanding. Demanding. Uh, well, I'll figure it out. I'm going to write it right now. So let me... Let me uh, Okay, so let me get this paper all set up. Okay, there you go. So, let's see. Let me... Okay, I'm writing. Okay. Dear film makers... Oh, wait. Wait, I shouldn't say dear. Because, you know, I'm not in love with these guys. I should write... I should write something... I should write something harsher. You bastard... Film makers. Okay, wait. Now that's kind of harsh. So here, let me let me cross that out. Let, let me split the difference. Okay, darling filmmakers. Okay, that's good. I like that. Darling filmmakers. Okay. Um. Now, what do I want from them? I guess you know I paid money for this film, and it was a crappy film. Okay. Give me my money back. No, it, no. Uh, just give us our money. That's good. Uh, but also, I hate these guys. So, comma, you, you bastards. Okay. So, so let, let me, Okay. So let me read this. Uh, darling filmmakers, give us our money, you bastards. Now, how should I end this? I know. Boom Shanka. Boom Shanka. You know what that means? Uh, you know what? Boom Shanka means may the seed of your loin be fruitful in the belly of your woman. <laughs> so Boom Shanka Steve. Okay, so let me read this. Uh darling filmmakers, give us our money, you bastards. Uh, boom Shanka. You know what? I'm gonna cross out the Boom Shanka because they won't know it. I'll just have to spell it out. So, yeah. may the seed of your loin be fruitful in the belly of your woman, Steve. Okay. So let's let's let. Oh, hold on. Let me read this. Uh, darling filmmakers, give us our money, you bastards. May the seed of your loin be fruitful in the belly of your woman, Steve. Well, if that doesn't get us our money back, I don't know what will. It's very, very touching. 
Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it. You know, it, it's about time we stood up and said, hey, uh, what a wonderful kind of day. Take this shit over to but, your fag art houses. Okay? What? That's what we say. Yeah. yeah. So I'm proud of that letter. If you could stop clicking that pen, Noah, I would appreciate it because the microphone just picks up everything. Okay. So if you could not do that, okay. I would appreciate that. 